It's a great honor to be here in this very international gathering, accepting such a prestigious award from the Asia House. I'm particularly uh, the grateful that Japan has joined the list of the recipients of this award. I'm really the, 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 uh, surprised that my first o the award honors from the Japan. Because that, uh, uh, our country has such a deep history of the uh, trade and the mutually uh, supportive political relations, the Britain sent its engineering pioneers to Japan in the major era. And it is probably true to say that without the stimulus, examples, and technology which you gave to us uh, 150 years ago, companies like ours, which uh, the Japan's major investors in the United Kingdom today, would not have uh, developed so soon or so successfully. And so there is not only an economic uh, reason for us to continue to work together, but also the historical and even emotional foundation on which we, our corporations can thrive and flourish. Today, uh, we are, like you, intently focused on the pace of the development and growth in the rest of the Asia as a driver of our business. I hope that in the new circumstances which the UK now finds itself, the Japan and the Asian in general the, will be benefit from a new sur surge of the attention by the UK's technology and service industries. And I'm sure that the vital role that the Asia House plays in the bringing of Britons and Asia together, particularly in trade, will be uh, ever more necessary and relevant. Let me say uh, something uh, personal, but uh, very much rooted in our company's uh, philosophy about the fusion of the business in society. But, and uh, the Secretary of State already mentioned about that. Uh, the, the also that uh, the, the Secretary of State, you mentioned that uh, the, your government, uh, the, by the emphasizing the concept of the industrial strategy, has recognized that the role of a business is not uh, uh, economic only, but uh, social is a very important factor. And that also that uh, providing an environment in which the right kinds of the business can prosper and the innovation can flourish is an important way for the government to deliver their policies and social benefit to the populations. It is not, in my view, state ownership, but partnership between the business and the government, which can the best deliver infrastructure and the improvement in transport, health care, energy, and other the public services. Hitachi's uh, founding decree was to put uh, to technology to the uh, benefit of the society. And that is why today we put the uh, social innovation business at the heart of our total business. Social innovation is that recognition that as a business, we have the ability and responsibility to improve the lives of the people by bringing together IT, infrastructure, and engineering with human in ingenuity, we can build a safe, smarter, more sustainable world. And this social innovation is not an exclusive enterprise. It involves a partnership, the sharing ideas, 
developing talent and bringing the thinkers and doers together to accelerate the change. It deliberately uses an open architecture which shows a collaboration with the best research and other players. Urbanization, population growth, aging societies, in some countries and climate change everywhere are changing how we live and uh, posing the new challenges. These require more intelligent, robust, and cost-effective solutions than ever before. In particular, the way we shape and develop our growth cities, many with the aging infrastructure will become critical to a sustainable future. There is a need for reliable and stable energy supplies improved transportation networks, transformed health care systems, and better access to clean water, to name just a few. When I was a young system engineer, I was part of the uh, team that built the uh, automated traffic, rail traffic management systems for, for the, the Tokyo metropolitan area. Of course, some engineers uh, we saw it, uh, it as a technical challenge. Given the uh, complexity of the network and number of the movement to be uh, coordinated. But while the uh, development of the systems certainly rapid the railway operators, the much large benefit by per accrued to society at large through the allowing the population of 15 million to travel with a minimal disruption across a very wide area, the creating the new suburbs, avoiding the needs for road building and lower energy consumption. That is one of the technologies that we are introducing on a still small scale in this country. Big challenge for us. Personally, therefore, I am totally at home in a world where government, with the input from the expert and the industry, the sets their broad uh, the objectives for the next phase of the uh, social infrastructure development that uh, creates a business ecosystem in which private sector companies can invest to deliver it. I know the Secretary of State that you are very sensitive to the, uh, uh, the concerns of the Japanese business uh, about how Brexit will now be uh, handled. Uh, not least because of the uh, direct read across from the foreign investment to British industry strategy. And I should add that since the, we also have the very important business in the rest of the uh, EU, we care as well about the future of the euro as a geopolitical unit and economic partner of Japan and an um, area of the economic growth. It is time for the framed British diplomacy and not the wrecking the ball. I have lived and spent a lot of time in the UK and the greatly admire its people, and especially the, its scientists and invent, investors. The UK gave us our railways and our first nuclear technology, so it is no coincidence that the UK is home to some of the, our biggest international infrastructure projects. In 2014, we moved the global headquarters of our railway business to the UK. And I, were, I was here in the Britain just over a year ago, celebrating the opening of our new rail man manufacturing facility in the Northeast. I determined that Britain will be uh, proud of the uh, what Britain workers will produce in that plant. 
the first products will be delivered the next year. But we don't want to be uh, handicapped by uh, the complications with its uh, supply chain or selling into the, uh, the Euro continent. In 2012, when Hitachi acquired Horizon Nuclear Power, I made a 100-year commitment to the UK. We remain committed as ever to provide secure, reliable, low-carbon electricity to millions of households and business in the UK for decades and providing an economic boost nationally and locally. We are glad that the Hinkley Point project is now going ahead and that thanks to the efforts of your department, the Secretary of State, we are making a progress towards establishing a good legal and the financial framework for Horizons project in Anglo Seas. Politics is politics and the industry is jobs. We hope that the, when the dust settles, Britain will still be a part of an open dialogue. The helping is to set a new standard and a secure base for the further expansion of our business. So, may I close uh, by uh, again thanking the Asia House for this very special and treasured honor by reaffirming my personal commitment to promoting Japan and British cooperation in all areas. And wishing everyone here great success in the years to come. Thank you very much for the attention to my speech. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.